Resisting arrest, reckless driving, and eluding police. Just some of the charges a man faces after taking police on a chase through East McKeesport. Lindsay Ward has the details from police you will only see right here on KDKA and why they had to go into a creek to find evidence. We're near the Patton Street Bridge. This is where the suspect crashed his car. He jumped out of his vehicle and attempted to run from police. But before they caught him, he was able to throw something off of the bridge. According to police, it all started with a traffic stop in East McKeesport around 8.30 last night. Vehicle traveling down Fifth Avenue. Vehicle refused to stop. And he kept on driving, erratically too. There were moments police say Vincent Strader was swerving in other lanes and going as fast as 90 miles an hour. The officer initially backed off some too and when he couldn't navigate to turn and crash. And that's when the chase ended, right here on the Patton Street Bridge when Strader crashed into a barrier. Police say he then got out of his damaged vehicle, surprisingly not hurt, and decided to run. But apparently, Strader needed to remove something of his first. It turned towards the officer, and he tossed a firearm that turned out to be a pellet gun over the bridge into the Turtle Creek below. Police then took him into custody. With the help of the Swissville K-9 unit and the Monroeville Fire Department, they were able to locate the gun in the water. Nobody was hurt. No other vehicles were involved. No other citizens got hurt. During the pursuit, that's the most important thing. And Strader remains in the Allegheny County Jail, unable to post bail. Lindsay Ward, KDK News.